Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTube reactor. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, you probably don't know anything's weird. But if you're returning, uh, the reason I am not uh, with my normal background is that I'm currently in Pullman, Washington, on the other side of the United States from where I live. I'm in rehearsals for the musical Sunset Boulevard at the Regional Theater of the Palouse, which leads me to say, if any of you are in the Palouse and anywhere near Pullman, Washington, Sunset Boulevard runs from September 30th to October 10th, and you can come see me playing Joe Gillis in it. And I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, exquisite show with a wonderful cast at a wonderful theater, and I hope that you'll consider coming. It's been a delight and an adventure and a challenge for sure, but I'm excited to um, see where this road takes us. In the meantime, uh, I, I am reacting to someone that a lot of people have requested over the last like two months and I just kept forgetting to do it. So sorry about that. And here we are. This is uh, Hua Chen Yu, or Chen Yu Hua, based on the, the title. Um, I don't know anything about this artist at all, uh, other than it's been recommended a lot. So I thought we'd check it out, see how it goes. Uh, I know this is from the singer, so I probably have to put the gray bars over it to get it to pass copyright. So sorry if that kind of distorts your viewer um, viewership ability to enjoy this. Uh, I certainly don't mean to hinder that, but you know, to get the video up, I have to do what I have to do. So sorry about that. Also sorry about like being able to hear the wind in any traffic or anything. Again, I don't live here. I don't have my lights. I don't have all my normal stuff. So I'm kind of trying to make the best with what I've got. But I want to say thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for making it possible for me to come do musicals and write my screenplays and have my meetings and do all of the things that I do. <laughs> you guys are great and I really appreciate you. So thank you so much for the support. Now, let's jump into this. Okay, so this guy knows how to sing. Uh, <laughs> starting on the red, it's a feeling of someone that's been immersed in in violence. Um, especially with he's got this kind of oversized coat and a persona of someone who's still a bit childlike. Um, starting with this idea of ever since I was little, um, that he didn't really have a choice in this. He's been asked which weapon he would choose. And he's kind of looking up as if he's looking into the past, as if he's looking back to these memories. And there's a sense of loss in his eyes and in his voice. And especially when he did that, da, 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 the way he opened up on it, da, it was just, it was almost like a wail, almost like filled with regret and sadness. The blue light hitting his face while he's bathed in red is this picture of innocence and, um, and just someone that didn't necessarily choose to be in the situation that he's in. And then everything comes in and it's almost like that violence is rushing toward him already. So just already it's a terrific performance. He's a great singer. He's adding some wonderful texture. Uh, such a unique range in his voice already. He's got that high tenor, but it's so open and clear. It's just fantastic. Now the coat's off. Now 
now he's very in control of it. It's a completely different person. <laughs> He's got a very uh, Pat Benatar aspect of his voice, doesn't he? He's got an 80s rock type of grit to his voice, but he can rap. That's fast. He's going quick. Uh, just extraordinary. But I, I would not have guessed. I thought he was just adding that texture for the opening, but that's genuinely his texture. I and mean, it's like he stepped straight out of the mid 80s rock and roll, Pat Benatar, um, Bon Jovi type of music to do this and blended it with rap and also a more classical sound um, to tell this kind of epic story of, of his journey. Uh, it is extraordinary and now the red and the blue makes sense. It's two contrasting Voices and styles that exist within him. So yeah, red and blue to signify both Wow It's just really good vocal advice Boy, sorry, let's take it back here. Watch the way he uses his mouth to create. It's a it's a totally different person singing now. Uh, it's very open. He's smiling and he's getting this very kind of thin, spread out sound. That's um, that's it's just a completely different. When he was open, he was da 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 da. It was all here, but now it's very here and light and pleasant sounding. And it's it's like a totally different human being is singing. It's so wild. Look at his physical performance with it too. A lot of the movement just happening at the wrist. And it's so high, I didn't even mention that incredible range. Nice. And now he's back to that rock. He's literally mixing hardness with softness. And he's hitting these poses while he's dancing, or while he's singing.
Now he's playing the piano in his head. And now that part's coming in underneath. Yo, what a wonderful example of incorporating it physically into his performance. It's not like he was up there actually doing any sort of, of specific intense martial art. And I say that as someone that has not studied martial arts, so please forgive me for my ignorance on this. But he was evoking a lot of it physically. He was bringing up these memories of it happening as he's doing it, as he's singing about it, and blending a rock style with a rap style, with a more classic style of vocal, all three coming together, singing about how he, he enjoys the hardness and the softness of the nunchuck. Uh, and it's kind of whipping back and forth like what a nunchuck would do, kind of cracking back and forth really quickly, and there's something holding it together, which are these rap portions that are holding together the two, um, the two that are separate, the two different kinds of vocal. Um, just an extraordinary performance and an extraordinary voice uh, and, and what, a, what, a, what an artist to be able to let go with, with no fear of abandon and embrace perhaps looking ridiculous because I think performing like that is a scary thing to do to just let go but he did it and boy did it work I mean it was just clicking on all cylinders and he was just fully immersed in it. It, it. He's, he's good. I think that's safe to say. He's pretty talented. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. I, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'm sure I will see you next time. But until then, please drink lots of water. Fix your posture. Please take care of yourselves. And thank you for sharing this with me. Uh, what, what an experience to watch that is incredible. Thank you so much.